Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, we are from the MS Department, C Class 2020, Melawarman University. And today we will discuss about stereotype. Before we start, let me introduce my members first. So, uh, first is me as a moderator, my name is Krishna, and my student number is 1050860076. And the second is Aulia Olivia El Faradila, and her student number is 1050860078. And the last is Rosmal Santina, and her student number is 1050860068. Today we will discuss several stereotypes about women that appear in society. So the first stereotype is women must be graceful, gentle, and friendly. Olive, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you approve or disapprove of this first stereotype? Okay, I kind of disagree about that because okay, might be graceful or graceful or friendly or something like that are something they're born with but that's not an obligation to be done. Uh, sometimes too friendly or graceful, they will be easily harassed by men or even the women. And also Islam, Islam uses women have to be strict and brave, especially in front of the men. Women prohibited from being graceful, except to their family or their husband. I think that's my opinion. I disagree about that stereotype. Okay, that's great. Thank you, Olive. Uh, uh, for me, I also approve of this stereotype. Uh, because uh, in real life, I'm always hyper with the people around me. And it's a bit hard to be to change my behavior that can be graceful and gentle. Even when I meet new people, it's a bit hard to be friendly. Uh, and I'm a very approved person when meeting new people. So I uh, disagree with that stereotype that women must be graceful, gentle, and friendly. Mala, how about you? Which team are you? Um, I agree with that stereotype. There are many beautiful women. Even beautiful women are born every minute. But the most important value in a woman is her attitude, especially with young and old alike. The gentleness of your attitude and speech reflect that you are women with a good personality. No matter how beautiful you are, be simple and still have to have limits of control within yourself. Okay, that's all from me. Oh, it's nice to hear your opinion, Mala. Okay, next is Olive. Uh, what stereotypes are you going to discuss with us? Okay, I have this one stereotype. I heard it the most people say women cannot be a good leader because they are weak i really disagree about this what about you guys i'd like to hear the your opinion first okay let me first say my opinion uh i agree with that stereotype why because i once held a leadership position even though it was only at the level leading a class in high school and it showed that i'm a weak and weak person and at the time, I feel pressure from my classmates to let them well. And when they give negative comments about my leadership style, suddenly I'm uh, overthinking and blame myself. I even cried once. So that's why I agree of that stereotype. Thank you. Okay, what about you, Rosmala? Okay, um, from me, I 100% disagree with this. I still hear that thinking and making decisions based on the heart. Women are best on logic. From this comes the notion that women cannot be good leaders. The name of a leader is synonymous with his ability to think with fact and logic and be able to make firm decisions. This is considered impossible by a woman who is soft-hearted and unbearable. In fact, not a few women have become successful leaders and have built big businesses. Having great empathy and often thinking of using feelings is a plus for women, especially in the world where well-being is one of the uh, priorities to be more enthusiastic at work. Okay, that's all from me. Okay, I kind of agree with Rosmala. I really disagree about this. I know men will always be the best leader, but women do so. I agree men can do better than women if it's about leadership. But we cannot say women cannot be a good leader because there are so many women who become the leader around the world. For example, Jacinda Ardern, 
New Zealand's female prime minister. She has been praised internationally for handling terrorist acts in Christchurch on March 15, 2019. And she is considered a leader figure with high sense of empathy. And in Indonesia, there's also Megawati Sukarno Putri or Susi Puji Astuti and many more. So that's why I think maybe there are some women that cannot be a leader, but not all men, only feels women. Okay, Rosmala, maybe you have your own stereotype to, and you want to tell us? Go ahead. Okay, um, and the last stereotype are we going to discuss is if a woman is angry or moody, she must be PMS or premenstrual syndrome. Do you agree or not? Um, from me, I agree with that stereotype. Usually, near the time of menstruation, most women tend to be more sensitive, anxious, even depressed. Some experts say that hormonal imbalance and a number of chemical compounds in the brain that regulate mood could be contribute factors. Feeling angry, sad, then suddenly happy for no apparent reason, just before your period. This emotional turmoil is a normal symptom of premenstrual syndrome or PMS. The sudden and drastic change in mood sense to happen for no reason. Okay, that's all from me. Um, how about you, Aulia? Okay, uh, I don't think so because I don't think women become moody person or something like that just because they are on their period or PMS. Because, okay, maybe I feel so moody and grumpy and one and grumpy and something like that uh, but i'm not on my period though so maybe there's something preserves them such as they have problems with their parents or their family even their boyfriends uh, maybe that things preserves them i don't think being on their period or pms make make them become moody or grumpy person i don't think so that's i cannot disagree about this stereotype that's my opinion okay thank you olia mm, how about you Rizna? i also disapprove of that stereotype because when i'm angry it doesn't mean i'm in the pms space it could be that i'm stressed because of left or of sleep or maybe because of a pile of homework or maybe it's because I've just had an upsetting to get it. When I'm in the past pace, what I feel is not feeling to be angry, but my back will hurt and be a little sore. So I don't believe it. Uh, in my opinion, if you want to be angry, then it must be for a good reason. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, I appreciate for your opinions, guys, because in this respect, we are very different according to what we experience. Okay, uh, back to moderators. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, thank you for sharing your opinion today. And that's all from us. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.